President Trump struck an isolationist tone during his campaign, calling for a greater emphasis on domestic issues over foreign entanglements. Still, he is unlikely to withdraw the 8,400 U.S. troops currently involved in America's longest-running war. This is because even with American and NATO reinforcement, the Afghan National Security Forces are struggling to battle the Taliban, as the insurgency contests or controls more territory than at any time since the 15-year war began. Withdrawing troops would place America's gains in her jeopardy, and that's something Trump is unlikely to risk. Pakistan is the most consequential actor in Afghanistan. Islamabad has admitted to hosting elements of the Taliban leadership in Balochistan. The Taliban will most likely be involved in a power-sharing agreement that someday ends the war, so this positions Pakistan to maintain leverage in Kabul. Pakistan wants to prevent our tribal India from gaining influence in Afghanistan. Such an outcome would force strategists in Islamabad to have to contemplate the nightmare scenario of a two-front war between the nuclear powers. This is why Islamabad is sought to pull Kabul into its own orbit. In 2016, Peace talks under the Four Nation Quadrilateral Coordination Group failed to achieve a breakthrough as relations between Washington and Islamabad generally cooled. Then it was reported that American and Afghan officials hosted secret meetings with the Taliban in the organization's political office in Doha, Qatar. Feeling sidelined, Pakistan held its own talks with Russia and China on Moscow in December. Russia and China both admitted to meeting with Taliban officials on their own, and the three nations called for the international community to contemplate lifting UN sanctions from some members of the Taliban. Ultimately, given Pakistan's centrality to the outcome in Afghanistan, Islamabad will have to be included in any conclusive negotiations to end the war. <laughs>